Now here's a book that's a little bit different to the previous books I've shown you. It's Sacred Art by Kathleen Hoffman. Now this book is published by David and Charles, but I actually bought it from the Search Press website. Now this is something that's fascinated me for a long time and I really wanted to find out more. I love that it's to do with nature, sacred symbols, geometry, spirals, symmetry, and it's just something I really wanted to have a go at. So let's have a look inside. And we have here, create your own spiritual and mandala art with easy acrylic painting techniques. Now that really appeals to me because I don't use acrylic paint that much and I really want things to be quite easy. I don't want to be learning really new complicated things at the moment. I just want to relax, lose myself in my art and really enjoy the process. So we've got basic information and then we've got some fascinating projects here. Mini Mandala, Circle of Life, Autumn Forest, Nature's Treasures, Silent Night, Blooming Midsummer, Loyal Companions, Secret Garden, Dreaming Windfish, Water Lily Labyrinth, Spirit of Paradise and Mystic Jungle. They all sound absolutely wonderful. And look at the colours in here and the patterns. I just really love this. And I think with all these dots, I really, really like the idea of this. I'm not quite sure if my hand and my vision is going to be good enough to do all those dots. But there's plenty of other designs here that I can try as well. And the colours are so pretty. Now, in the foreword, there's two paragraphs I want to read out to you. The first one is... This book is intended as a creative toolbox that you can then use to create endless variations of your own mandalas. And this paragraph I have to read. I absolutely love Kathleen's words. As an illustrator, I particularly enjoy weaving storytelling moments into my pictures. Suddenly a window is opened into another world. A smoking chimney is hidden amongst the treetops or a white cat lures you into a mysterious garden. These moments lead you into a fantasy world that encourages you to pause and dream. I love that paragraph so much. And I am really fascinated by this book. There's another lovely picture there. Then we move into the basic information. It's a nice clear book. Everything is very nicely set out here. So we don't have a huge amount on, of information, but we have everything we need to know here. You don't need a lot of equipment. It's going to be quite easy to start off doing this if you don't previously have acrylic paints. I like something here very important to me. I personally only use synthetic brushes because I don't want any animal to suffer. And Kathleen says she also only uses synthetic bristles. So that is a really positive for me. I love her tip here about protecting your clothes or wearing old clothes or an apron because acrylic paint is very difficult to wash out. Now I can be a little bit messy sometimes so that is obviously something I'm going to follow. And we have a little bit more about brushes and looking after them. You can see you do not need a lot of, of uh, equipment. Most of the stuff you'll probably already have. And then we move into these techniques, little section on colour mixing and a bit on the dot painting technique, which is really helpful because I have no idea how you actually create those dots. And then we have some more information on constructing your geometric shapes. And then we move straight into the projects. I do love this so much. And there's the white cat looking through the window. So the first one is a mini mandala, which obviously it's great to start small if you're just starting out. You can see the step-by-step -step instructions. The pictures are very clear. You can easily follow these instructions and get your finished picture. Then we move on to the circle of life. So I will flip through the projects quite quickly. There are so when I'm, I'm unsure myself whether I can do all these dots and little leaf shapes, there are plenty in here for me. I mean, look at this. I love this. The wave shapes here, the trees. I'm so excited about having a go at this. I'm going to pull out my acrylic paints 
and I really do have to make the effort to to do some of these pictures and look at this again we have like nature's treasures a glimpse into other worlds so if you like nature whether you have used acrylic paint before or it's new to you I'm sure you're going to find this book absolutely fascinating and I, I absolutely love this. I'm definitely going to have a go at doing all these dots. I think they're really, really good. I think I'm going to have to have a really good practice first before I start on my canvas. But look at this. I just love the information here. And here's a lovely little cottage, the moon, flowers, all the things that I really like painting. Now my son uses acrylic paint a lot. He keeps telling me it's great. You should have, you know, you should use it more often. So I think this is my chance to get my acrylic paints out and actually use them. We have some. There's the cat again. I love these colours here. And also with each project, which I haven't mentioned before, but I need to mention here. I like this one. There's a little a paragraph as mentioned. This one mentions the legend of Zelda, the wind fish. So you have a little bit of information here just to guide you and to explain a little bit about the picture. I think this is wonderful. This is definitely something I want to have a go at. Look at the colours on there. It's always nice when the artist adds some extra information for you about the extra, the uh, pictures. We have these tips again here. A water lily labyrinth. So this one's developing your potential. The picture invites you into the depths of the underwater world. The pure flowers of the water lilies seem to rise up from the dark depths and float towards the light. I think it all just makes the book... It adds to the spiritual element of the book to have these little paragraphs here at the beginning of each project. And they just all seem so magical. You really feel like these lilies are floating and you feel like you're underwater there and you're just watching the lilies and the leaves floating in the water. It really is quite exquisite. So I hope that um, this will help you whether you're thinking of starting with some sacred art and see whether this is a book that you might like to buy. I'm actually really pleased I got this. I say there are some elements I think I might struggle with, but I'm definitely going to have a go. And there's plenty here. It's not just all dots and leaves. There's plenty of other information here. But if you really want to have a go at this sort of art, I think this is a... It's so nicely explained, so easy to follow. We have a little bit about Kathleen here. I think this will be a book that you really would find helpful and useful. And it really is very inspiring. So that's Sacred Art by Kathleen Hoffman.